This video will demonstrate how to create chemical reactions in the Electronic Laboratory Journal Commotion ELN. Furthermore, we will explain the various options for adding chemical compounds in this context. To create a new reaction, first, choose a collection to which this reaction should be added. Then, click on the blue icon in the upper action bar and select Create Reaction. A new window will appear which lists options to add starting materials, reactants, and products. Please note that editing a chemical reaction directly by simply clicking on the reaction equation is not possible. Reactions can only be modified indirectly by editing or altering the chemical compounds included in this reaction. Clicking the green plus symbol generates a new and separate entry for chemicals, which is directly linked to this very reaction. If the chemical compound is already listed in your Commotion account, for example, as part of an overview of purchased chemicals, it is possible to access the target chemical through the compound register and to use drag and drop to insert this compound into the reaction without having to draw the chemical compound again. When using drag and drop, it is important to be mindful about which entry you select from the molecule list, as this action creates a link to the reaction. The compound list on the left depicts the general overview of a specific molecule with a gray background. Each individual entry for the molecule is listed underneath with a white background and is labeled with a specific compound name. If the general molecule entry with the gray background is added to a reaction via drag and drop, then after saving, a new entry for that molecule will be generated and labeled following a general consecutive number schema. For example, if the last entry has the label ACFO4, then the new entry will be labeled ACFO5. When dragging and inserting a specific molecule, those with a white background, into a reaction, then the entry created will be linked directly to the molecule used and its entry number will be based on this molecule. For example, if the last entry is labeled ACF04, the new entry will carry the label ACF041. Under the category Reactant, you can also select Pre-Stored Reagents. Adding reactants via drag and drop from the compound entry list is possible as well. Please note that Commotion significantly differentiates between the categories starting materials and reactants. Chemical compounds, which are assigned to the category reactants, will after saving and updating the reaction page not appear in the compound list on the left.
This prevents an unnecessary and confusing accumulation of frequently used reagents. If, for certain reactants, entries into the chemical compound lists are required, then this substance must be added to the category starting materials using drag and drop. Please note that to correctly consider the stoichiometry of the reaction, chemicals must be added to the reaction multiple times if more than one equivalent of this compound is required. Hence, to ensure correct calculation of the yield, stoichiometrically divide the amount of the starting material. As described before, you can either create products from scratch using the structure editor and insert them into the reaction, or you can add them via drag and drop. Chemical compounds added to the category products will, just like starting materials, generate entries in the compound list as well. It should be noted again that saving the progress in regular intervals is advised. Please also note that Commotion only implements certain changes after saving. Only then will they become visible. The amount of substance can be entered for each chemical. Commotion automatically calculates the rest of the specifications, such as mass and volume. However, this requires the compound's molar mass and density to be specified. Regarding the sample weight of the starting materials, it is possible to switch between theoretical, T, and real, R, values. The latter allows you to directly record the actual mass of the sample that you weighed in in the ELN. You can also modify the unit for each entry. The calculation of the product yield occurs automatically. However, always check which entry is set as a reference for calculating the yield. Reassigning the reference is relatively simple. Select the option Reference next to the substance intended as a reference.